In the previous video, I said that when we don't have an intentional conversations about life changes before they happen, we set ourselves up for failure and divorce. Someone said, I hate this caption. And she goes on to say that women are talking about it all the time. It's really men that aren't leaning into this one. So look, I hear you. I think a lot of women are proactively having more of these conversations. I know in our partnership, we actually struggled to have some of these conversations. We, we literally had in our calendar that paternity maternity for us was a black hole of nothing. We had no concept of what it might be like to have a baby. We just labeled it and considered a black hole of all hands on deck for three months. So to your comment, I think it's less about us having the conversations, but having purposeful scheduled conversations where we're talking about these things where emotions are not already high. Some of the best conversations I've ever had with Alyssa were when we had scheduled them out ahead of time, we are talking about the expectations of a life change that was about to happen that we knew in the near future and how we wanted to go about preparing for that change. Some or all of the worst situations we've had in our life have come from us under-preparing, under-talking as a team, not in emotional bursts, about a change that was coming. When we bought our first house, we did not do a good job of talking about responsibilities ahead of time. When we moved in with my parents, we did not talk about it ahead of time. And as you said in your comment, a lot of things do end up defaulting to women. The reason for the caption, I said, we.